Hi guys, so I think I'm going to start off my bows, um, just showing you quickly how to make one. It's not really a bow, it's more of a group of spikes, if you know what spikes are, they're just like the little uh, ribbon that people put in bows that have these other ends, we'll talk about that in a second. So let me show you what we're going to be using. Um, sometimes people call this specific thing like a cheerleader bow or a ponyo or something like that, I don't even remember because this is something I saw a long time ago. And um, But mostly cheerleaders like to wear them and like they look so cute in little girl's hair. So this is not for a baby unless she has a lot of hair already, okay? So what I'm going to show you is, um, I'm going to be using the bow dabber, you do not have to use this, okay? I'm going to say that right now because I know people are going to be like, hey, you could do, yes, you can do this all kinds of different ways. You don't need the bow dabber, you can use just a string, you can sew across the middle of what I'm going to show you, you can... Um, use the whatever wire and not the what I'm going to be using. There's lots of different ways to do it. Figure it out for yourself if you know a better way um, that you like, then do that. But you definitely don't need this, but if you have it, that's great. So this is the Bodabra Mini. I think they will. They call it the Hairbow Kit, but I think they call it Bodabra Mini. I can't remember exactly. But this is from the Hairbow Kit. So it's a thing. It's the little pusher and then the um, measuring plate. And actually, in this for this one, I don't even need the measuring plate. Um, but I'm going to leave it on there just because it kind of helps keep the everything in order, okay? So there's that. I'm going to put this to the side for right now. You're going to need a pair of fabric scissors or something that's going to cut your ribbon but not fray it real bad. A lighter just to um, singe the edges of your of your ribbon so they don't get, um, well, so they stop fraying. <laughs> You're going to need a ponytail holder and this is uh, one of those Outchalist ponytail holders. But you know what? The kind with the metal would be great too because you can use that area to um, uh, wrap around so it won't be showing. I'm going to be using this zip tie. It's a black zip tie and I normally use a smaller one but since I'm putting in the bow dabber it needs to be a lot larger. Okay so I would normally use a smaller one and I'll show you that right now. I got these at Walmart and they were like six bucks for 500 of them. Okay so my husband had got these actually for some things that he needed. Um, so it comes with a couple of clear ones, some black ones, and some yellow ones. But what I mean is the shorter ones I would normally use these smaller ones. If you can see these here. They're finer, smaller, you can cover them easier, but I'm going to use a larger one. Um, so it's, uh, I guess it's, uh, I'm not sure exactly what size. <laughs> I guess 7 and 7 8 inches zip tie, but you're going to cut off so much of it, it doesn't need to be that long. Okay, but like I guess I'm using a long one just for this project because I'm putting it on the Bodabra. And then you're going to need lots of ribbon, okay? So let me show you the ones I use and then I'll tell you what I did with it. So I just chose a bunch of ribbon that would coordinate kind of cute. So this is... Uh, one and a half inch grow grain ribbon. As you can see, it has the ribbing in it. So that's a grow grain ribbon by Offre. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to go through each one because there's so many of them. This celebrated ribbon, a couple of seven and eighth inch wide ribbons. This is grow grain. It's from Michaels. It has this cute stripe to it. I could use that. I use, actually, I'm going to use this one to show you how to make the spikes. I use this cute Hello Kitty ribbon. I think I got this at Joann's or Michael. I'm not sure. It's also seven eighth inches. I'm using these. Um, very inexpensive 50 cent rolls from Michaels. They're, um, I thought these were quarter inch, but what does it say? 3 16th of an inch um, with a little eyelet on the sides or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I'm going to put in some pearls. Why not? This is from Joann's and they're really old, so I'm sure they still sell like this, but it's like white pearls on a string. And then I use these two packs that I had picked up at Michaels recently. I used one of each of these colors, and I'm also using this a little bit of Rick Rack that has like some um, glitter look to it. And that's it as far as the ribbons. So I'm making mine so that it fits maybe a little bit younger girl. You can make them as long as you want. Just know that it's going to be folded in half. So whatever you, whatever size or length you want your dangles, just know you want to double that, right? So I'm doing 13 inches because it's not too, too long and it should fit a little girl kind of nicely. If you go longer than that, it's going to be much longer. So if she has real long hair, that's great. But if not, you know, you want to kind of... Uh, make it the size of your daughter's pony or your, whoever you're giving it to. So let me measure this out 13 inches and I will cut it because I already have the rest of them measured. So 13 inches here. And I do it very scientifically as you can see. <laughs> Just like here, this is good. Um, and then I'm going to cut that. And then all you're going to do is take your ribbon and you can match up the two ends, fold it however you want. You can cut them one at a time. I like to just fold it in half. Why not? Who cares? It doesn't matter what's, what angle you cut at. You can do um, this simple one, which is what I'm going to do is just angle it. And I'm just eyeballing it. You can make it sharper if you want, however you like. You can dovetail it where you do the, the dovetail or have some this way, have some dovetailed. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then you're going to take your lighter and just run it right across there really quick. And that'll keep it from fraying. Okay, so that's all sealed up. Um, if you have something where you can't do that, because maybe it has 
glitter, like the glitter one that I have there, or something more flammable, what I would suggest doing is using clear nail polish, okay? So this is what I'm doing for now. So this is basically a spike, okay? But most time when people talk to spikes, they're talking about the one that has the little chevron at the end, which is the dovetail. And to do that, all you have to do is fold your ribbon in this way and cut it. And then you're gonna have that dovetail shape, okay? So if you wanted to do that, I'm just making it very simple today. So I've already cut all my ribbons. There are one of the black one and then a couple of each of the rest of them. But let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is take my, um, uh, gosh, ponytail holder. And I'm gonna put that in here already. So it's gonna, actually, sorry, let me back up one second. We're gonna take our zip tie, put the zip tie down, okay? So I'll put the zip tie right in the middle, just like you would do if it was bow dabber wire, but it's a zip tie, I'm putting it right in there. And then I'm gonna take my hair bow, I mean hair bow, the um, ponytail holder and put it right in there, okay? So now it's holding on. Um, hopefully you guys can see that right down in there. I'm gonna reposition my camera before we continue. Come straight down so you can see a little better. So what you're gonna do with the next ones is, okay, I'm gonna start with the larger one. This is the one and a half inch. And I'm gonna fold it just so I know where that midline is, right here. Cause basically you're gonna stick them all in here right in the middle. So there I made like a little line so I can kind of see it. And I'm gonna kind of scrunch this right now. And I'm gonna shove it right down into the Bodabra. So now I have half of Basically, this is 13 inches long, so you're gonna have six and a half inches one side, six and a half inches on the other side. And then we're just gonna start layering up how we think would be cute. So I'm gonna take that stripe one that we just did, and again, find the middle. And if you're doing this without the bow dabber, all you have to do is just lay the pieces out on your table or whatever your work surface, and, and just line them up. So I'm gonna start kind of moving them around though. So like that one, I'm gonna put this way. I'm using two of the striped one. And again, find the middle. And I'm probably gonna quiet down now because I think what I'm gonna do is fast forward this part <laughs> because it's gonna take a minute to just keep pushing ribbons in here right down the middle. So I'm gonna move on to the Hello Kitty ribbon. And this is gonna be facing up. What you're doing is the work that you're gonna be seeing when you're done here. So I want to completely have this facing up at me, okay? If that makes any sense. I'll put this one facing this way. What you see is what you're gonna be doing. And again, fold it in half. Kind of make sure you're in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously when it drapes, it's gonna look kind of crazy anyway, but you want to get it as precise as you can. Okay, and then if it starts getting too poofy for you, you can scrunch it down with your tool. And from now on, I'm just gonna have these little thin ones. So it's gonna go into some thinner pieces. This one I'm just gonna put right down in the middle here and I'm gonna continue stacking them. Some of them I did, um, actually I don't want that one there. Some of them I did um, only one of it or two of them, like this one I only have one. I'll put it right down here. This one right down above it. A piece of Rick Rack that has the glitter. And just find the middle of that one. Shove that in there. So it's just kind of wild and crazy, whatever you want, basically. I'm gonna put this pink one right in here. Make sure that's right down the middle. And then I'm gonna take a black, the little thin eyelet one, and also kind of place it this way. And the white one, and some of the pearls. Those thinner ones we don't have to actually shove down because they're just gonna lay there, okay? And I'm gonna do the exact same thing what I just did, starting with that pink one again, the little thin pink, um, a black and a white, and the pearl one, okay? okay? See, that is it. So I have everything stacked up. Um, so what we're gonna do is bring this up and out of here basically. So I'm gonna scrunch it real quickly just with my hands, but you can use your tool and you can even keep the tool there if you needed to and um, keep it down. But and you can still add a lot more than this. You can make this thing super crazy however you want. What I'm gonna do is pull this bow, um, the um, ponytail holder a little bit because I need to get this clip, the zip tie above that, okay, over it. So since the ponytail holder is the very base of this um, pony um, holder, as you can see, it's at the bottom. All these ribbons are gonna be at the top. And then you're just gonna pick up your zip tie, super easy, slip it through here, and pull it, just like a zip tie should be pulled, right? So I'm gonna pop this out and check that out. It's all on there, it's all together, it's all one piece. I'm going to flip the zip tie a little bit, kind of turn it so that the knob part, the little knobby part is towards the bottom, because you, you don't want it sticking up a big old bump at the top here. And now it's down here, and I'm gonna continue pulling this until it's nice and super, super tight. Okay, check that out. And you can just leave this like this if you like, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's basically done. 
as you can see, it's a cute little ponytail holder. And it has the Hello Kitty stuff. There's all kinds of other colors in here. It's just really cute. And then when the child is wearing it, it basically falls like this. Hopefully I can put, some, put on something so you can see it. But there it is, okay? So what we're going to do is cut off this guy. I'm not going to use my fabric scissors to cut this off because that would be cardinal sin number one. I'm going to cut this off with a regular scissor. I'm going to go grab one. Regular scissors and just so cut, cut that, that off. off. And that's kind of why I like to use a small one because this one obviously is kind of a large knob back there. But that's okay. Um, if you have this much hair that you wear a pony, it's not going to poke you or anything like that. And then we're going to cover it right now. So I'm going to take this. And so I have here, let me see, one, two, about three inches of... Um, the smaller 3 8 of an inch pink grosgrain ribbon and I'm just gonna put a little knot in it. You don't have to do this if you don't want to but it looks cuter and of course because it's so small, I cut it so small, <laughs> it's a little harder to do. You can leave it longer obviously if you want and just trim away what you don't need but I'm going to make a cute little knot and there it is. So all we're gonna do with this is go ahead and attach this to the bow just to cover up that black um, area there and so what we're going to do is just get some hot glue and unfortunately I think my hot glue gun is going to be off um, screen because I couldn't find my extension cord. So I'm going to add a little dab on the very end of this pink. Okay, sorry. I'm going to do that and then I'll come right back to show you. If this thing doesn't want to... Okay, so there's some hot glue there. I'm going to make sure that's affixed over that black bump there, okay? And before I continue, I need to make sure that that's sealed, that little edge there. And you can seal both of them, but this is the one that's going to be on top, so this is the one you really want to make sure is sealed. And so I'm just going to check this out, bring this over, put a little hot glue right here. Let me do that. Sorry, in the next video I'll have my, hopefully in the next video I'll have my extension cord. And we're just going to bring that over and apply it there. Maybe three and a half inches might be better, but I'm just going to do the three inches. Sorry. And that's just the back of it, just to cover it to make it look nice. But here's the top. So hopefully you guys like this quick, easy tutorial on how to make um, a cheerleader bow or a ponyo or whatever you want to call it. Of course, you don't have to use a bow dabber again. Do whatever you like. I'll have pictures for you guys, and I'll see you at the next one. So hopefully this is nice and simple, something really cute and easy that you can just learn and do. And it took all of five minutes probably even with all my talking um, as far as stacking and all that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's really quick. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.